You're watching the LG V60 disassembly. First, remove your SIM tray. Next, use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat the back plate up so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath it. Then you're going to go ahead and pry the back plate off. Now you have 15 Phillips screws you need to remove. Go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, now let's go ahead and lift up the wireless charging pad. And take off the top cover. Here's a closer look at your wireless charging pad. And this plastic piece over here on top has a lot of antenna lines running through it. And if you're ever having any sort of reception or Wi-Fi issues, this is one piece I'll take a look at. If it's not firmly in its place, then it's gonna give you some problems. We're now gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery cable, located right here. Pop that off. Let's disconnect the rest of the cables. You have one wire cable here as well. Disconnect that. Now at this point, we're gonna lift up and remove the main board. Your main camera over here has image stabilization. You have two mics over here. They're the gold pieces. On the back of the board, you have your thermal pad over here, which lays on top of your vapor chamber. Your cameras are connected over here. Removing the main board reveals the 3D copper vapor chamber over here. And also one more thing you notice is the SIM reader over here is replaceable, which is a good thing. It's its own part right over here and it connects to the main board with this cable. So basically your buttons over here on this side connect to your SIM reader part and same thing with your front proximity sensor. Next, we're gonna remove the loudspeaker assembly on the bottom. Here's your speaker assembly. So you have your fingerprint reader located right here. Let's disconnect that. Now let's disconnect your headphone jack cable. And then there's one Phillips screw holding down your headphone jack. Remove that Phillips screw. Now let's remove that headphone jack. You have one cable over here, disconnect that. You also have one wire cable here, disconnect that as well. Now there's some adhesive holding down the microphone down here. We're gonna pry that off. All right, so this board on top over here is held on with some adhesive that's attached to the charger port flex. So you're gonna have to separate these two. Here's a small board on the bottom by a charger port. 
Okay, so in order to remove the battery, you're going to have to heat it up to loosen up the adhesive underneath it. And you're going to have to pry it off. There's no easy pull tabs on this one. Alright, so you got your charger port flex cable right here, comes and attached to the board underneath it. You have your screen cable over here, which is run through your midframe and connects to your main board. You have your vibrator motor down here. You have your ear speaker on top over here. And this right over here looks to be the 5G antenna to me because I haven't really seen a separate antenna run through the phone like this before. The flex cable is over here. This basically connects to your main board. And here is your antenna piece right over here. I'm gonna pop this plastic cover off. Now this plastic piece here is important because these lines which run through the plastic are part of the antenna. And these contacts down here, they make a connection with these lines over here on the speaker assembly. And as you can see, they run through the other side as well. So if you wanted to replace the screen at this point, Basically, you just heat the front up, pry the screen off as well, and then you run this cable through the midframe, get your new screen, run the cable back through the midframe, and reapply your new screen to the midframe, and then you just reverse the whole process. All right, now I'm gonna put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply some new adhesive and then reapply your back plate. Turn the phone over. Power it on. And you're done. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.